Folks, we're gonna show you a new product. First time I've ever used it will be this hunt. It's called New Fletch. I run into it at one of the hunting shows and it's gonna change the way I hunt. I have problems all the time with my fletchings getting ruined. Now I can pack a, my shaft in my suitcase, take the fletching separate. You got an insert in one end of the shaft for your fletchings and an insert in the other end for your broadheads or your field points. Or you can actually have this and bring it with you disassembled. I'm going to show you how that works. You can just take the bare shaft and then when you get where you're going, you take your fletchings. You don't have to glue them. No mess, no threat. Just slide them right into the groove. And when you get all three of them in, then you take the head of it, screw it on with your knock. Then you just screw the shaft and the fletchings together. Now you got a solid, solid fletching. We're gonna find out how durable these are after we pass them through a few animals on this hunt. Don't y'all go away. Jay Morrison's elk hunt's coming right up. Jay, you got nerve cutting me down for missing a deer with a bow and arrow. You don't even know which end of an elk call to blow through. Hey man, I'm from Alabama. I don't have elk in Alabama. The only, the only cow and bull I know is the ones that manufacture T-bone steaks. Well, I'm gonna get a magic marker. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to ride on the end, blow here in an arrow, because you got to know which end of an elk call to blow through. But i got to give him credit, though. That's the first time he's ever blown an elk call, and I think he did pretty good. I know the elk thought you did. <laughs> he's over in the bushes laughing at yeah, him. <laughs> he was. Well, in the south, we love to hunt turkey. And they say that this is a 900 to 1200 pound turkey. Well, we worked this just like a big tom. And we had him coming to us. It was sounding good. It was the cow calling and bugling some. And he, we thought that he was coming in right to us. And he was. Yeah. But he decided to go to his favorite water. And that's the reason we couldn't get him to come to us. He was interested in going down to his water hole. This time of the year, it's not very cold. In fact, in the middle of the day, it still gets pretty warm. Elk, if they've got a watering hole, they like to go in there. They like to thrash around, splash water on them. It helps cool them off. But it also gets mud on them, which helps keep and prevent mosquitoes and deer flies from biting them as oh, bad. Mosquitoes, 
You ought to see the mosquitoes. They big as chickens up there. <laughs> they were. I think they put on extra pounds for the winter. I know they do. But anyway, this, this elk was thrashing around in the uh, water. Uh, we were trying to get on him. We never could get a shot. He never would present us a shot. And then finally, he moved out of there and went into the uh, thick planted pines. And man, did we have a close encounter. It was some action. Folks, we had some action in those planted pines. I had the hair standing up on the back of my neck. But we never could get a shot at him. And finally, he moved out of those pines and went into a hardwood bottom. And this hardwood bottom we'd watched every day. These cows had, had went in there, and of course the bulls are going to follow. And this uh, hardwood bottom was a transition period between two fields. And the way it was in this particular day is the wind was blowing in the wrong direction for us to get inside of there and wait for them to come to us. They would have smelled us for sure. So we had to go inside and after they went in and set up and wait on them to come back through to feed to this big open field. And if they were true to form from the following two days, once they got done feeding, they turned around and fed right back to their bedding area, and that's what we were banking on. Folks, if you want to see if it worked out, we got to go to a commercial break. Y'all stay tuned. We'll see how that works. <laughs> 